Hello everyone, I'm Miss Pudding, presenting another hero spotlight on the upcoming hero, Tremble, a melee agility semi-carry with high mobility and ganking potential. Tremble's first skill, which has both offensive and defensive purposes, summons a swarm with a 350 radius that deals magic damage and reduces all incoming damage from anything not standing within it. When active, it reduces both physical and magical damage from units and buildings alike. Basically, in order to deal full damage to Tremble, you'll need to get up close to him or wait for the skill to wear off. At the same time, the skill is also relatively mana cost efficient, and deals a max of 80 damage per second, allowing you to use it early on to quickly take down a wave of creeps or a hero. Tremble's second skill, Terraform, creates a mound with a 400 sight radius that gives him invisibility, bonus movement speed, and health regeneration. The mounds, however, are relatively easy to kill, but he can teleport between them and defend them from attack. When chasing down an enemy hero, quickly placing a mound allows you to gain valuable movement speed and take down bunches of trees, preventing you from being juked by Fog of War. You can also place the mounds carefully on the edges of cliffs so that the center gadget is at a higher elevation, and harder to kill from downhill. Tremble's third skill is a passive that reduces movement speed on the target and allows him to deal up to 20 bonus damage and heal 20 health on attack, with a 2 second cooldown per target. Put simply, you'll be able to heal faster by alternating between targets for each hit. Although Tremble has a naturally high base damage, this skill is particularly useful for getting easy last hits and harassing opponents. Regardless of your laning situation, it's usually the first skill you should max out. Finally, Tremble's ultimate summons his trusty companion, Shudder. With a deceptively cute pudgy thorax, this pet can travel freely at any range from its master, summon mounds, teleport to them freely, and cast a range to mobilize. Upon attacking, Shudder applies an armor debuff to his target, which also affects towers and buildings. If keeping the pet with you in a landing situation, you can use it to harass enemy heroes and keep them at a distance while you focus on last hitting. Shudder gains your currently trained level of your passive attack, so you can significantly increase his damage output by leveling it. If you aren't concerned with using your pet to scout out rooms and harass side lanes, you can boost your gold income drastically by sending it to the jungle and using it to kill neutral camps. Tremble's base damage is considerably high, and when paired with his pet, he doesn't need many damage items to kill heroes quickly. For this reason, you can rush items that increase his survivability, making him a near-unstoppable force by mid-game. Here's a quick view of the camps that your level 1 pet can solo if you have your passive attack maxed out. When choosing what skills to level first, you may want to consider your laning situation. If you happen to be soloing middle, keep in mind that a solo hero will have difficulty killing your mounds on his own. So you can level that and your passive attack to take full control of the lane, putting a strong auto attack harass on your opponent and making full use of the invisibility and extra health regen. For a side lane, if you're against more than one hero, they will be able to focus down your mounds easily, making them much less effective for ranking up. Instead, you could max out your swarm in passive, allowing you to use that extra magic damage to get early kills with an ally, preferably a stunner.